you must have been more productive than ever because of this thing that people describe called being in the flow state, right? I imagine if I'm distraction free, then I'll be in that flow state longer. Everyone listening will have experienced it at some point in their life. A flow state is when you're doing something that's really meaningful to you and your sense of time falls away, your sense of ego falls away. You can pay attention to something deeply, but it doesn't feel like an effort. Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel and to the video and to today's box opening from one of my sponsors, AWE Tuning. Um, but this is actually something that I should have done at the very, very beginning and it is functional. Unlock performance. Man, I always have to check to see if the mic is even on. So what you get in this box, installation instructions. They gave me a lollipop, but yeah, that's it. These are uh, wind deflectors that are supposed to reduce the wind noise that you get when you're driving at high speeds and you have the windows open. Actually, you don't even have to be driving that fast and you still get this really annoying reverberation. The Supra is notorious for that. And these are actually fairly expensive. Actually, AWE's version is a little more fairly priced, but the ones that like Saibon make and the ones that you can find on eBay for these things, Plus shipping. So you also get the 3M to be able to stick this on and uh, AWE tuning sticker. So they go like this and actually, let me just take you into the garage, show you exactly where I can place them. I've decided to put a cover on the Supra. So this is where it goes. Oh, it fits there so perfectly. So I'm gonna turn the light on. What? Super subtle. So I won't install them today uh, because it's way too cold for the 3M to even stick. And also I can't even test it out anyway. So what's the point? <laughs> I gotta wait like two more months. Mother nature. I've slowly started getting myself back into music production. And honestly, one of the bigger reasons why I left it was because I found that my tracks were getting a little too, well, I wouldn't say repetitive because in music production, or I guess with anything in life, if you feel like your work is getting too repetitive, take that as a good sign because you probably found a style for yourself. I feel like most of my music is just unnecessarily complicated. And I'll show you guys what I mean. Like sometimes my interface just looks too convoluted, like way too much stuff. And I can definitely get away with doing less. Still running Fruity Loops 12 on this computer. I actually bought Fruity Loops, okay? And I have the box right here to prove it. There was a point in my life several years ago that I really wanted to take this more seriously. And the reason why I really started music making in the first place was because early days of YouTube, when you needed 10,000 subscribers to be a partner with them uh, and you were still getting your paychecks through the mail uh, via Google AdSense. It was tough to find non-copyright music <laughs> other than that super generic ukulele background music that uh, I just, you know what I'm talking about. And my dog is yelling at me. Where is he? Oh yes. Come on in. So welcome to Beats Before Breakfast. I don't actually really have breakfast, just Pure coffee. This is what I use for my instrument, an Akai MPK Mini. Literally just a USB. Boop. You can actually put all the instruments onto this beat pad, but I have that and I also have this bigger keyboard. But then we have this even bigger keyboard, which is what I use to figure out all my melodies and stuff. actually make some beats. This is what the song looks like. I've been working on this track for over two years. 
uh with with breaks in between uh, like i would just randomly open it here and there and like add take away and this is what i got so far Okay, so what uh, adapter are you using there? I've got the Metabones. Metabones, yeah, that's yeah. the. I have a. It's like 40 aux or something, yeah. but that's the one everyone recommends. Oh yeah, Metabones. You can use like Sigma. Yeah, I've got the Metabones and I've got um, the oh. the Metabones for this and the Sigma, which are here. Oh. All right, see you on. There's what official I does. If I do <gasps> go you're on. get that in it, right? Chill. Does the hood come exactly, off? Exactly, exactly. Uh, it doesn't. Uh, it's That's the only thing. Yeah, you, so you'd have to do cropping post Yeah, so you're going <laughs> to have to do... No, I would have to use that as a crop sensor. Come yeah. here. Excellent. Don't be rude. Mm -hmm. Bye. Well, thank you very much. Of course, guys. Thanks. Enjoy and stay warm with the rest of your company. Oh, uh, you all oh, appreciate that. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot for the mask. Cheers. Bye. Oh, so nice. Cool. Made some extra monies. Those guys just bought a lens off me. Fisheye lens that I bought for my skateboarding days and as a like entry level wide angle for my vlogging. Um, except that was for a Canon camera and I've had that thing just collecting dust in the corner of my room for like two to three years. I just made 160 bucks like that. Money on demand. I lie. So as some of you know from my previous vlog, we're closing up the shop, the physical brick and mortar store. There's a lot of factors uh, for me to come to this decision. One of them, mainly the pandemic really didn't help uh, because people were just stuck at home, not really going to physical store locations. And the second big reason is the overhead, the unnecessary payments every single month for the past year and a half. Honestly, like it's cool to meet you guys in person, the Calgary locals that actually do take the time out of the day to come by the shop and say hi. It's more so like sometimes I'm, I'm in a flow state when I'm working in the garage part of the shop. And when someone comes by to say hi, it does take me away from my time. It takes an average of like 20 minutes to 30 minutes to really get back into work mode. Most of this is actually gonna be going back online to our web store, but I'm also gonna be throwing like a whole bunch of random items into the odds and ends section of the web store. So it's just random cool stuff, you know, that we have lying around. Like this is an unopened new era hat and also our huge Hot Wheels collection. So there's actually a whole bunch of rare Hot Wheels in here. Some Supreme merch. Masks. But the Hot Wheels, I have a cooler idea for those. Uh, I wanna do some sort of random booster pack or something, or maybe we'll figure it out. I'm pretty sure some of these would go for a lot on eBay. Uh, next month is the last month that we have our old shop. So. This past couple of years, I've been sitting on two shops, which was super heavy on me financially. That old shop was broken into at one point. Like I went to the shop super early that day, 
and I just saw the broken glass on the ground. They didn't really steal much and I didn't feel like we were targeted in a sense. Uh, it was probably just some teenagers like trying to have fun. But apparently the landlord said the security cam saw the kids break into the store at around 3 a.m. Um, but it was only our store that they broke into and none of the other shops. So maybe they thought our shop was the coolest looking or something. Uh, I mean, they only ended up stealing, well, mostly KMR merch, like a lot of our racing gloves, which is sad. That was probably one of my favorite products. And a couple of toys off the shelf. And there's definitely gonna be a few things that have been sold out, but we'll be back in stock. So kingsmasterize.com guys, check it out. Also, check out my new toy. Picked up this automated slider. This one has that function where you can actually keep it focused on the subject while it's moving from left to right. And also, it has several speed options, so I can have it go super slow. Uh, and I bought this mainly for the art channel, for when I'm doing the art process videos. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna test it out and show you guys exactly how this works. And then I'm gonna go put up the rest of that camera merch online. Okay. If you guys are wondering too, this slider is made by the company Newer. Little insight, you guys know how Amazon products work. It's mostly American people, branding uh, Alibaba product. And this one is by Newer. So basically what you do is you set it at point A, set it at point B, and then it's up to you how fast you want this to go. But right now it's going insanely slow. So that's a hundred speed. And then if you wanted, you can actually just have it on a loop. Awesome. No, I'm not gonna lie, this thing is actually pretty dope. Really easy to set up too. So if you guys actually want one of these for yourself, I have the link to it in the description. And again, this is by Newer. I actually have another Newer gadget. This thing is similar. This basically, as long as you have a nice straightaway and fairly smooth floor, then this can pretty much go forever. So there's three speed settings on this one. Then you just press that and watch it go. What up, Gojo? I also have a link to this one in the description, so almost halfway there. We still gotta count that stock and put it up online. This is where I kind of wish I had an assistant or something. That way I can still be doing my edits and art and the more important stuff while this still gets folded. <laughs> what? <laughs> you guys wanna see what's for dinner tonight? Ah, steam! Stupid. You got uh, lasagna cooking in there. Uh, Yo. Okay. And I want Eddie to get an Damn. But now I want like five cars or four cars because I still want to build uh, STI. Um, okay, a 400Z will be just like our next KMR car. But then for like I, I want, and after that the first like entry level. It's only gonna be 65k. Dude, that's crazy. Crazy. <laughs> then that'll be before the Ferrari and after that. Yeah, <laughs> nice. See, we know where we're headed. Yo, I'm gonna put cheese in there. It's the sauce, man. I feel like it's an acquired taste. When I was young and my parents always had this, like during the parties, I just didn't like it, but now it's super addicting. Yo, we still have our tree. What the fuck? It's never gonna die. <laughs> Dude, it took me three hours to build this. And then another two hours to go into the forest to film that damn skit. Three hours to build this? I was at the shop for three hours, but this itself maybe took 30 minutes, 40 minutes. This gourmet, mm, beautiful. Mm -mm. Oh my gosh. Go on, I didn't forget about you. I did, I did. So the rest of my night went to planning. I got this huge big ass calendar. That's literally what it's called. Simply put, you can see all 365 days of the year on one page. That just sounds helpful. It means you aren't having to flip through or swipe over 12 pages. This is how all the Britain's Got Talent people go up onto the stage. Uh, so what's your name? Hello, uh, I'm here with Minan. <laughs> 
All right, let's plan out our year, guys, to the best of our ability. Now, obviously, with the restrictions coming back because of the new Decepticon virus, maybe the scheduled events that were supposed to happen in 2022 might not be, so I'm gonna do my best to Google um, the dates and see which ones are still planned for um, and which ones were canceled. And, and then I'm just gonna plot it out on our entire year calendar right here. Big shout out to Jesse Itzler, the same dude who created Zico Coconut Water. Is the same guy who invented this thing. All right, the dude. Also, take it from me, guys. When you reframe your outlook on time into a longer time horizon where there is no particular date for when something needs to be done, you alleviate yourself of that pressure. Of course, on the other hand, if you don't set specific due dates and cutoff times, then nothing will ever get done. This is where you definitely have to be the best boss to yourself. Like the best boss you've ever had in your life. Also, this is where becoming a good scheduler is super important. But it's possible to do a lot throughout the day between progressing your business to playing the video games still, spending quality family and personal me time. What you want is to be able to utilize all 18 hours of your workday. I say 18 because in my case, I only really need six hours to sleep. Bottom line, having a scheduled day where it's organized down to the time detail beforehand also frees up your valuable mental space so you can live in the present when it's important. My assignment for you guys this time, learn to become a good scheduler. Plan out your months, try to get it down to your weeks, to your days, and the most successful people actually get it down to the minute, actually. If you practice enough, you get pretty good at calculating exactly how long it'll take to get from point A to point B. Whatever those points are, it can be physically, it can be goal-oriented, like financially, or a YouTube subscriber count, but also plan for interruptions, because they're inevitable. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. <laughs>